Hello there, this is Doug. Welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you how to make um, a single action compression style truss rod using the same materials and the same techniques and processes that Brian May used to make the truss rod for his original Red Special guitar. So, just to explain how Brian did it, he used some 3 16 inch diameter mild steel bar and uh, he heated up one end on a gas stove uh, and then he bent the end around into a loop. Okay, then he bent the loop back on itself to make it symmetrical and then closed the loop by brazing it with a brazing filler metal. So in the sequences in this video I'm going to follow the same process and except I'm going to use um, an oxy turbo uh, small portable uh, gas welding set. Uh, I've got some sections of stainless steel bar and some mild steel bar. So I'm going to use this basic jig that I've made with two bolts in it. This is a, a 5 16 or 8 millimeter diameter bolt uh, and this is a 6 millimeter bolt. So I'm going to use the, the oxy turbo welding set to do the same thing and heat up the end of the bar. We're going to bend it round on itself in this manner into a loop. Okay, and I'll swap over and then we'll bend the loop back on itself. And then I'll use the oxy turbo welding set again in conjunction with this 55% uh, silver um, brazing rod, brazing filler metal rod, and we'll braze the loop closed. We'll then uh, dress the, the loop clean and then we'll cut a, a thread in the opposite end after trimming the rod to the right size and then uh, that will be the truss rod complete.
So that's the truss rod loop complete and dressed. It's reasonably satisfactory. So let's just check the fit with a 5 16th by one and a half inch UNF thread bolt with uh, one of these test necks that I made. Okay, so with one of these necks, it has um, this recess cut in it, but I haven't uh, milled out the rebate for uh, the truss rod. So I'm not going to insert it the correct way. We'll just insert it uh, this way around just to show you the fit. Uh, the other neck does have a rebate, but it still needs a little bit of work. Okay, let's give this a go. Bolt hex rebate also needs a little bit of work. Bolt head doesn't sit cleanly in there at the moment. This is just to check the fit. Okay, that seems to fit well. Quite satisfied with that. So if you don't really feel like making your own truss rod, you're not comfortable with any of the equipment or the processes that I've illustrated in this video, then I recommend that you buy um, a prefabricated modern dual action style truss rod, such as the one I'm showing here. This is a, a small one, which was intended for fitting to my uh, mini red special. So the way this works is it's got a piece of round bar with uh, threaded ends and that's attached to a piece of rectangular section bar with two um, mounting points welded on each end and the threaded bar uh, has a rubber sleeve on it and at the end you've got an adjuster knob which when you move it one way or the other will cause the rod to bow uh, in one of two directions now unfortunately this uh, Allen nuts is an imperial Allen nut, and I only have metric uh, Allen wrenches, so I'm going to have to move it with a pair of pliers to show you how it works. Let's give this a go then. Okay, there's one way. You can probably just about see that the uh, round bar has moved up. If I move it, uh, turn it the other way, you'll see the opposite will happen. So that's a modern dual action style truss rod.